Hi Wilhelm fam, welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm afraid there's not going to be a coach this week either. Um, last week I spent a good portion of time with my head in a cauldron, which is one of my plastic ones. Because I was a little bit unwell. Um, then I had problems with my... Mm, cycle let's say um on top of that i'm getting used to not one lot more of medication but two and yeah my, i'm zipped out my pain levels have been absolutely atrocious um i've spent since the week before i've spent one day trying to do my building blocks and what have you and it didn't last very long and it was just a nightmare it's basically health wise not been too great there's nothing seriously wrong or anything like that so don't want you guys worrying um today's the first day where i've actually had enough energy to put earrings in and lipstick on and a lot of that was down to the reward of being able to open the coven box um which you guys may or may not have seen by now um yeah it's just been a bit grotty really uh it's my birthday week next week so we've had something in the pipeline that we've been planning to do that i'm actually really excited about and i know it's really sad that i'm so excited about it unless you're into it as well which is you know how i'm obsessed with harry potter i love films the books the lego everything harry potter um well basically they're supposed to be bringing out a tv series of it um it's in the pipeline it's very sort of start behind the pipeline really uh there's not been any releases of who's playing what um so basically for the last few months me and Darren have been watching bits on TV as one would normally and I've been saying to he'd be brilliant for that part yeah but I don't know our, our own fan, fantasy <laughs> fantasy bit casting for the yeah. adult parts of the Harry Potter series on N HBO Max now there was obviously I would love to have Alan Rickman and <laughs> Robbie Coltrane. But it has to be different. Not only have they passed, which yeah. is desperately really sad. Um, yeah. But I, I think they need it to be fresh. And we have had so much fun. Yeah. As we've sad got, as that sounds, we've got all new finding people, people. All yes. new people in it, apart from one person. There's only one person that neither of us felt. It would have been two had I have felt. Okay. I love Maggie Smith. I absolutely <laughs> adore her. I think she plays the most wonderful characters in general. Hmm. However, I do acknowledge that we've taken a slight turn on it and we're going to make her a little bit younger now Which would have gone to the book she was supposed to have been younger yes anyway. that's right so it would have been we're trying to do things more true to the book basically mm. however there's no replacement for warwick davis and i'm not being funny but he's, he's so versatile with the bits he so does. He's so versatile. <laughs> um, to be perfectly honest, it's not a lack of knowing people of his stature or things like that. It's I love Warwick Davis. I just <laughs> think he's, you yeah. know, I mean, I'd have found it really difficult to, because I had to change Snape, because for obvious reasons you can't, you know, so this is this is our dream one of people that are alive. 
Um, whether as, they'd all as be it, available. As it goes at the moment. Because <laughs> yeah, we kept, we've kept changing people as it's gone along. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest, we did um and ah over Warwick Davis, but I've seen him in so many things and he has been so different yeah. with the characters he plays. Yeah. Because unless you know, if you know, he play he plays several different characters in the Harry Potter series, anyway. Although I must admit, I would be totally. I I'm not sure how old his son would be, but oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? If he had his <laughs> his real life son played him <laughs> from before, that would be so cool. So bearing in mind, guys, we. We are a little geekish. Okay, we're a lot geekish. But when it comes to Harry Potter, it's just one of those things that it's escapism. I, mm. Especially when I'm in a lot of pain um, and I'm not talking about my normal, I'm talking about where I can't barely move. Um, it's an escape into another world. And... I don't know. I I would say I've grown up with it, but yeah, I I didn't really. I was sort of, well, no, you're already an adult. Different then. ages. I was I was already <laughs> an adult then, and it still sent us out um, early hours of the morning to W. H. Smith's to pick up the latest book and what have you. Hmm. So you know, but ironically, the friend I thought got me started on it has never read them. So that was weird. But anyway, um, my favourite characters, uh, because uh, Pink Poodle very kindly sent me a message along with Journey. And I'm okay. I, I'm just hurting a lot. And I know you guys get it. I really do. Um, it's got a lot better. But I'm still really zapped out on top of that um darren's had to take my dad to different appointments just the yearly thing but it's all come in this week and top of the car brakes um needing to be fixed and things like that so he's been out a lot more and yeah it's just it's just been a, a couple of horrible weeks so i'm sort of trying to plan things for my birthday week that I know put me in a better frame of mind. And like I said, I love Harry Potter stuff. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a birthday present unwrapping probably because, not, probably won't get it. because <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're waiting for stuff to come um, from different places actually mm. uh, but on top of that um, my parents and mother-in-law usually give me money so you will see what I've got but you'll just see it later on later on if that makes sense that being said I don't know who knows what's going to happen mm. but yeah. yeah but the Harry Potter bit will be on next Friday mm -hmm. it'll be a, be a Kutch Corner special um yeah we won't we won't have the captions or anything at the start because we've right. got a lot to get through with that week so here's a here's the thing giving you this notice means that it's sort of like if you've got anybody in mind you know because i'm not being funny you never know who's going to see these videos it may be somebody down the line that sort of sees them and thinks oh actually that person's idea was all right yeah. I'm not in cloud cuckoo land. It's very, very unlikely. <laughs> but at the same time, we I've really had fun doing this, and yeah. so is Darren. Um, it's it's just it's given us something to think about, hmm. you know. Um, as peculiar as that might sound to you guys, hmm. but I'm sure that a lot of you get it as well because I know that you. You know, a lot of you are Potter heads as well, so it's sort of like, mm. 
you know. And World's on Pink Poodle, she's starting on the book series. Now, watching the films are brilliant. Books. Don't deprive yourself. If you haven't read them... I mean, I yeah, everybody is different, and I always bang on about that. Be different, you know. Be who you want to be. But those books, I mean, just a bit of escapism. No, um, mum and dad's next door neighbour went with them to the cinema to see one of the films, and um, one of the characters. I'm, I'm very reluctant to say who. Um, died in it he was the one that tried to save Harry's life mm. and is not human there you go mm. it still leaves it open to anti for, you know for people mm. that don't know and he came out sobbing and a lot of people are upset by that um, I find the Snape scene the how he you've you come the full circle. He is amazing. Um, and why has it disappeared? There are so many things. So many, so many things. Anyway, guys, the point is that, you know, if you want to put forward ideas, please do. Feel free to, because you never know who's going to see it. And also, if I'm brutally honest, I would love to hear your guys' ideas as well. Um, but yeah, this is our dream one of who we thought about at the time. So there might be others. The only other stipulation that we had was they had to be British actors. No. No? They had to be from the Commonwealth. They had to be from the Commonwealth, too. So the only stipulation we had was they had to be from the Commonwealth because, mm. you know, um, I don't know really. Yeah. But well, the original ones were. The original ones were. Apart from, week, apart from a couple of actors. Zoe Wanamaker was born in New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. And... Uh, Miriam Margles was born in Australia. That's right. Or she Australian. Yeah. Um. Apart from that, there was uh, Troy, whoever his name, I can't remember his name was, when he played Mini Me. He's American, but he didn't speak. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he played one of the. He, he played the. He played the. The goblins. The goblin that first showed him to. The his bank vault. Bank vault. Yeah. But he didn't. He didn't speak. It was Warwick he's Davis's an, voice. He's another one that's passed. Bless him. Yeah, and um, the other one was the one who played. Uh, is it Amelia Bones? Bones, the kid Bones. Yeah, it was it Amelia was, Bones's. Yeah. She was yeah, her niece. She, yeah, Susan she, Bones. Susan Bones, because she was um Chris Columbus's daughter. Who was, was the, the director. director? Yeah. So we <laughs> yeah. we turned my update because I mean, let's face it. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's far more interesting to talk about Harry Potter than it is to talk about my health because you know it's just what it is. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's all fun and games. And honestly, I thought I rattled before, but <laughs> but the thing is, they know what they're talking about, and that's fine. And to be fair, they've they've got me on the right medications. It's just because of different complications I've had from different things. They need to be more careful um, by putting me on other things basically that's what it comes down to right guys so as i said i'm okay i'm just not i'm not well there's no way in hell i could go and sit over in kutch at the morning at the moment <laughs> i'm i'm sort of sitting up here at the moment bolstered like i usually am and i am really uncomfortable so i've got to the point now where i'm sort of like yeah i'm gonna have to I'm away from doing the video at the moment and you know just let my body get used to how new things are and things like that but yeah but no all is good honestly um 
Right, so as always, my lovelies, be different. A very, very merry on hoo hoo. And you're going to have to boop him, babe. Boop. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you're going to have to. Go on, you can do the. Can't see where the camera is. Boop! boop. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.